Hey everyone, so a lot of you have been requesting lately to an updated makeup collection video and I totally understand because makeup collection videos are probably one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube and since I hit 20,000 subscribers and you guys have been so understanding, I decided to, even though I've been sick since Thursday so that's why I may sound a little bit more nasally, um, to film this for you guys since it has been so requested. So this might be a longer video than usual, but it has been really requested, so I figure why not? And I love makeup collection videos, and my last one was in November of 2009, so I think I'm long overdue. If you watched my makeup collection video from 2009, you'll see that my collection has grown so much. It's kind of unbelievable to me. I actually just watched mine today, so... Yeah, I don't know why I have this much makeup, but it's an addiction, so we'll just go with it. Please don't comment and say, well, if you don't use this, then can I have it because... Or don't say, like, you should just give away your products because I find that kind of gross when people give away their products that they haven't used. But anyway, um, take this for what it's worth. I'm sick, so I'm not going to get on camera and, like, do an introduction, but this isn't to brag or anything. It's just to show you what I, I guess, accumulated to see how I organize and everything like that. So I'm going to start off on top... Oh, I'll tell you where I got this first. Um... I ordered this online from Office Depot or Office Max. It's around 60, 60 to seventy dollars, and I got it shipped um, really quickly. It was it took maybe two days. I ordered it on Sunday, got here on Tuesday because Monday was a holiday. I think it's actually next day delivery. And it, what's really nice about this is that it has wheels, so you can bring it to wherever you need to bring it. And they have a bunch of different colors, like a rainbow color. But since my room is kind of black, white, and purplish gray, I figured that this would be the best combination for me. And the only bad side is that these little tracks kind of come off all the time. But, I mean, it's nothing you can't work with. So, on top it has this little, I guess, material. And then I have in this little thing I got at Walmart, it's a little, I guess, like, desk organizer. I have my Huggies Natural Care, um, I guess, baby wipes. Just in case I run out of my makeup removing wipes, which I actually just did. And I need to take my makeup off my face or I just need to do something really quickly or wipe down my vanity. I can do that. And then here I have my two MAC palettes. I got into a MAC palette phase when I first got into MAC. And um, I have one blush that is depotted, depotted, and this is Frankly Scarlet. It was from the Red She Said collection, I think, two years back. Gosh, can I open it? Okay, I don't know how Lorraine does this with one arm. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's just Frankly Scarlet, and it's my one blush that I depotted because I don't really like depotting my blushes. Eventually, I probably will just for... Um, I guess compactness, but I'm fine with this right now. And this is my MAC um, eyeshadow palette. I am, I do actually use this quite often, especially for this com color, which is Femme Fi. It's my favorite probably lid color ever. It's really, really pretty. And these are just like some colors and crease colors and just my MAC eyeshadows that I decided to depot, which I don't do that anymore. Maybe I will eventually, but who knows. So in this first drawer, it's all my face stuff. It's not like blushes or anything. It's just more like foundations and concealers. So over here, I have my uh, Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse, which I actually hit pot on. I don't know. My Meteorites Primer by Guerlain. This is super expensive, and I don't really know why I bought it since I don't really use it, but it's really pretty, and it does work well. In here I have my, uh, some concealers here, concealer, um, highlighter from MAC, and then concealer, and uh, prep and prime, um, skin refined zone from MAC, which is really great if you want to cover your pores. I have some more primers over here, my favorite Chanel bronzer, I'm not really sure why it's in there. Uh, my favorite liquid foundation at the moment, Make Forever Liquid Makeup, some powder, uh, translucent powder, more concealer, two primers, and then over here, this is one of my favorite new products, it's the Lancome, it's like a brightening serum, but it's a really, really nice highlighter. I was actually just sent this to test out, and I'm really, really pleased with it, and some sponges, the, like a beauty blender thing by Sonia Kashuk, and in the back, I just have some foundations and concealers that I'm not really using at the moment, but they're not old, so I'm not going to throw them out. I have a new Lancome foundation that I was just sent that I had to try out, but it's a little too light for me right now. My Tinted Moisturizer by Corez, which is actually way too dark for me right now. More concealers, MAC Face and Body, um, just stuff like that. I got the cases, the little trays at Walmart too, for those wondering. See, it comes off of the track sometimes, but that's fine. In the second drawer, this is kind of an excessive drawer, but I have my MAC and some NYX products. These are my MAC single blushes. I have corals, reds, mineralized, um... 
beigey kind of ones, pink ones. Really, I have a lot of different ones. Highlighters. This is Shell. It's a cream. I just have a bunch of different blushes. These are just the singular ones. I actually got this tray at Target while I was in the U.S. And then here's kind of where all my MSFs live. I have MSF here. I think these are all MSFs, maybe. I have some NYX cream, oops, cream products over here. And I have some more MAC stuff in the back. This is a blush ombre. I have to actually organize this a little bit. A Revlon thing in the back. And then over here I have some of my powders that I use most often. The one from the Venomous Villains collection, which is gorgeous. The Heather Red, and then Tahitian Sand. And this is a random honeycomb one. In this drawer, I have kind of all my blushes from other product, from other brands or stuff that didn't fit in the first drawer since it's kind of overflowing. Here I have some e.l.f. products um, that I bought when I was in the U.S. at Target. Like the Golden Bronzer, some other stuff. Here are my NARS cheek products. I have Lucana Bronzer. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think this is the most I've done since Thursday. Um, NARS Blush Orgasm, two cream highlighters. And then um, the Dream... Mousse blushes, some NYX cream sticks, the MAC Cool Liquid Powder, and the Acora's bronzer. And here I just have some more bronzers. Cargo, Hoola, um, Dior, and I think Lancome. So that's just kind of like extra blushes or overflow blushes and whatever. In this drawer, this is my eye drawer. I have extra mascaras that I bought and I haven't used yet or I should probably throw some of these out. I probably will after this video. I have a Stila talking palette, a essence thing I got in Greece, and then I have some MAC quad, I think that's it, and, and a Sigma quad, which it's okay. A Kat Von D palette that was free at Sephora a little while ago, and then my two MAC graphic garden palettes, and then I have some bases like a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Urban Decay Primer Poster in, in Sin, and Gilded Eye Pencil from Benefit, and then I have some Stila palettes, Too Faced palettes, some drugstore stuff back there, Glamardell, Lancome, this little random brand I got in Greece. And this is probably my favorite palette. Um, it's this Good Girl, Bad Girl from Too Faced that I got at TJ Maxx a little while ago. This is my MAC lipstick and, well, lip product drawer. I have my lipsticks over here. And then in the back, I have some Slim Shines, as you can see. And um, in the middle, I have my... Cream sheens or dazzle glasses. This is my favorite cream sheen. It's called Ever So Rich right now. I kind of changed my favorites. Then in the middle I have a uh, lip jelly and then this is a Dior lip gloss. Um, the Super Slip. Super Slip. This is a long wear one from MAC. And then I have some lip liners and my favorite Cora's lip balm. And a tinted lip conditioner. Tender tone. A sun tint. And then in this line of shame... I have some of my MAC lip glosses, some I have in my pencil case, some I have in my school bag, some I have in my purse. So this isn't all of them. This is just some that I just haven't taken out yet. So there's probably in my purse over there. Or in my school bag. I have like three in my school bag for some reason. In this next drawer, we have all of the non-MAC lip products. There's something for everyone in here. I have a little... Uh, Prime Venom, I have NARS lip products, Smashbox lip products, Cora's lip products, Gemma Kid, um, Revlon, which I really like this, um, Rosebud Lip Salve, Dior, I have a lot of Dior products in here, Stila, look at this gorgeous Dior Dice, I got this a couple summers ago, it's pretty much empty, but I keep it just for the dice because it's gorgeous, look at that, it's so pretty, um, NYX, pretty much anything you can think of. And then in this next drawer is kind of like the palette drawer. I have a lot of different palettes in here. I have my Urban Decay Book of Shadows number one. This is a Tarte palette. It's actually my first palette I ever owned from Sephora. A Smashbox palette. And then in here, this is a little um, Makeup Forever Flash palette dupe that I got. I got it at Urban Outfitters like last year, like right before Christmas time. I haven't really used it, so I'm kind of happy I didn't end up buying the... Uh, flash palette, but I will probably eventually since I actually just rediscovered that I owned it when I oops, whatever. Um, and it actually has really nice colors like that coral color and the red color make a gorgeous lip color. And NY NYC Halloween thing, and then I have a Lancome palette and then a Dior travel palette, which is really nice. 
in this drawer I have some foundations that I haven't really used just because either they were sent to me and I didn't like them or they're too light for me like this Lorac one's way too light for me the Neutrogena is a really heavy almost all of these I don't like because they're too heavy I have a Benefit creaseless cream shadow liner this is just kind of everything in a jumbled mess so not my favorite drawer to go into in this drawer I have some skincare stuff or things I might need. I should probably use this now because my lips are so dry. But this is the MAC Naked Honey Skin Solve. It's really nice. And then I have grease lightening for when your face is feeling a little bit icky and you just want to, I guess, make your face feel a little bit better. So that's really nice. And then I have some Zovaraxes because during the summertime, for some reason, I was really sensitive to cold sores. I have some uh, Kiehl's Blue Herbal Spot Treatment that X Sunshine, X Sunshine, X Sunshine sent to me. That's really, really good for when a pimple sprouts out of your face. This is an Eden Allure um, Argan Oil that was sent to me. It's really, really nice if you have really dry skin or dry hair. I haven't used this in a really long time, but my skin is feeling really dry, so I might bring this out. Good thing I'm going through this. And then I have some high um, SPF uh, sunscreen, and then a Liz Watier makeup uh, finisher polysporin my sigma brush roll which i keep in here for travel and then a little breakfast with audrey um kabuki that they sent me which is really good and then an eden allure beauty bar which i haven't used yet but it smells really really very nice so i will have to use that soon empty fix plus bottles empty uh, eye makeup remover bottles and this drawer is basically just um i guess just like skin stuff and I guess extra stuff. In this last drawer, I have um, my back to Mac stuff that I actually should probably back to Mac, and then I have my extra contacts, which has this is these are my favorite contacts. I use I get a lot of questions about this. I use this brand. Um, I have for such a long time, but I just started using the True Eye. No, they didn't send this to me. I went to my eye doctor and they got this for me, or they ordered it for me. It's really great. I love daily contacts just because I'm way too lazy at the end of the day to scrub my own contacts and this way I could just take these out and throw them out and then get a new pair in the morning. So in my opinion it's a little bit more sanitary but that's just me. And then in here I have some special q-tips that I got at Sally's Beauty Supply. Mm -hmm. Sally's Beauty Supply. They have this really kind of flat edge and then they have a really pointed edge and then just some extra makeup sponges and that's all that's in this big daddy of an organizer. Um, so that's that. Over here is my vanity. The vanity is pretty much the same. I got it at Ikea. Um, you've all seen it before. And this is my chair also from Ikea. It's really nice and florally. In here I have like these new like Kleenex, um, you know, like the hand towels. That's really good to wipe off whatever you need to wipe off or if you need to use Kleenex for something. It's a little bit more um, thick, so it's nice. In this thing, I have my glasses case. I have my contacts, um, the box. Some face spritzers, my MAC bronzing oil, MAC Fix Plus, plus white whitening system, toner, and I have scissors in here just in case I need to cut anything because for some reason I need to cut things a lot. Here I have a monogram towel from Winners. It's good just because I can wipe off my hands if I got something on them or anything like that. Over here I have my MAC single eyeshadows. Over here I have my little MAC uh, pigments that come out during the holidays. So they're not samples, I didn't get these as samples, but they come out during the holidays so you might want to pick them up this year. Over here I have my MAC pigments and glitters, which are really nice. Some eyeshadows, they go from light to dark and then to color, so that's that. Then I have my paint pots and fluid lines and my NARS eyeshadows in Cypress and the black one with sparkles, I forget. And then I have my MAC Mineralized Trio. Over here I have my brushes from MAC and I have a couple Sigma, Sigma ones thrown in there. I really do like Sigma brushes, they're really nice. I have my pink tweezers by Essence which are fantastic. And then in this thing, oops, I have an eyelash curler. Um, in this thing, I got this at Winners, I talked about it in a haul. But I just have all my eyeliners and a couple of mascaras that I use regularly. Um, Wise Health Faux Sills, Essence. Then I have all my eyeliners that I've from MAC, from all the brands that are just all in here. Some extra Kabuki brushes. My MAC Kabuki is in my purse. And then I have this little lace cup filled with regular Q-tips because I use Q-tips all the time. And then over here I just have my uh, 
moisturizer, which is my favorite moisturizer ever, and some hand sanitizer because you need hand sanitizer, I think. And then I have this little light-up makeup mirror. It just lights up for when I'm doing my makeup in the morning, and I really, really like this. I got this at Target, and I highly recommend it. It was like $40 or so, but they're really great. So that is my makeup collection, updated makeup collection. It's kind of a little bit insane for a 15-year-old, but, you know, everyone has their passions, so please no hate comments. Post a video response below, and I'll talk to everyone soon. Have a great day. Bye.